Farber and Leo joined this organization approximately 36 years ago. At that time it was NFIC and really a small, very grassroots organization and I really give them a lot of credit along with their friends who they worked with to, to starting it, to growing it. And I think because I've been sick that long I take a little credit that they did it in my honor and for me and for other people like me and I really think that's wonderful. Farber and Leo exemplify the very best of the organization. They represent everything that is quality and conviction and thoroughness and determination and consistency. They are two of the most positive people you'd ever want to meet. There's nothing depressing about them, nothing negative about them. Even when things don't look too good, they make it look good. That's the way they are. They never gave up. Uh, no matter how sick their child was, or how, how much they read, how difficult the disease was and it was going to be, they just kept a smile on their face and they kept going and they kept looking for research, talking to other parents, and very commendable. Barbara and Leo, I know, have been committed to CCFA for a very long time. They're hard work. They're two very humble people. They probably do not want to be honored, but they need to be honored. Barbara and Leo deciding to step off the board at this time is a great compliment to where we are right now, to the people that sit on the board today and are the future of this organization. Barbara and Leo would never let this organization fail. Basically, they are CCFA. There wouldn't be any CCFA without some seminal families getting together, with Barbara and Leo being uh, the pinnacle of that group of, of people who many, many years ago got together and understood that unless somebody stepped up to the plate, that progress was going to be slow because progress was limited by funding, and, and funding in particular 30 and even 40 years ago for colitis and Crohn's disease wasn't what it is today. They are always there. They have been religious about their attendance to board meetings and functions. They uh, are absolutely committed to the task and uh, they care deeply for the elimination of these diseases. They have a personal stake in it but their conviction I think is profound. So I think that it's important to them that they do whatever they can to try to find a cure or a treatment and I also think that it helps them. It helps them because they're the kind of people who want to be doing something and they can't just sit there. They can't just sit there and watch Joey be sick. They have to feel like they're somehow doing something to help. And I think that they believe that CCFA does do something to help. They're always there when we need them, always. They're like part of our family. I think that the two of them are entirely the most deserving people of this award that we have. I'm, I'm so happy that the organization has chosen to award them. I have no idea who would play Barbara in a movie, but Barbara is just incomparable, so there isn't anyone that I can think of. Who would play Barbara? I would say Meryl Streep would play Barbara. Barbara Streisand. I, I think Tracy and Hepburn. Well, Barbara's easy. That would be played by uh, Glenn Close. So I have to say that if anyone were to play Leo in a movie, it would have to be Sean Connery. Well, there's no question Sean Connery would be Leo, or Leo would be Sean Connery. Oh, Larry David. Was it, was it Anthony Quinn who played Omar, Omar Mukhtar, Mukhtar. Yeah. the Lion of Libya? <laughs> Clearly, that's who would play Leo. Well, there's no question who wears the pants of that house. It's Mrs. Leo. I mean, obviously, she's the one that I think has the most insight and can easily move mountains. Uh, you know, behind every great woman, there's a great man. And so I, I think that in that family, I, I would give the, um, the, the pants to Barbara. Leo wears the underpants a little too frequently in public, and Barbara wears the beautiful Max Mara slacks. Those are the pants they wear, but Barbara wears the pants and lets Leo think he's wearing the pants. The pants, Barbara. Well, that's an easy one. They both do. Well, I think that my Zadie wears the pants of Hanley just because my Bobby is so nice and willing to do whatever anyone asks of her. But um, figuratively, my Zadie is the one who's not wearing the pants and just in his underpants all the time. 
they're beige <laughs> and they're Barbara's. Barbara and Leo, if I were going to tell you one thing, it's don't ever change. For 36 years, they have gone to their friends and their colleagues and their business associates with the same plea every year, and they never give up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you a lot. Appreciate okay. it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.